narcissist word salad. Word salad is a confused or unintelligible mixture of seemingly random words and phrases. It is a circular conversation that leads nowhere. It lacks order and can be very difficult to understand. Word salad can involve a bunch of unrelated words and concepts. It may even include contradictions, combinations of statements or ideas which are opposed to one another. The purpose of the word salad is to make it difficult for you to follow or understand what they are saying. They understand that you are a logical, reasoning person. They understand that you are fully capable of clear and sound reasoning. They also understand that you are far more capable in this area than they are. That's why they will not even try to compete in any logic or reasoning. Because they know that they will never win. They know that if they operate in reality, and if they are understandable, expected, and sensible under the circumstances, they will never win. They will never be able to compete with you in any argument or disagreement. They understand that any logical insight of their behaviour might expose them or be against them. So they detach from any form of logic or reasoning. They detach from reality. And they create this alternate reality or world with its own distorted meanings and interpretations. They begin to believe their own lies and they begin to lose any insight that they once had into their own understandability. It creates this inability for them to express their thoughts and feelings to you. In their minds it makes perfect sense. You may be wondering what they're talking about, but in their minds you're the stupid one for not getting it. And when you don't understand what they are trying to communicate to you, it's very frustrating for them. It makes it very difficult for them to obtain narcissistic supply. And they also feel as though you are, you are insulting them. The more aware narcissists already know that you're not going to understand their word salad and that is their intention. It is designed to confuse you without twisting and distorting the meanings of everything to be in their favour they would never be able to win the argument or disagreement the word salad makes it impossible for you to follow any logic or reasoning it makes it very difficult for you to hold them accountable for their behaviour The word salad is reflective of the narcissist's disordered mind. It prevents any points from being made or action from being taken. It prevents the natural progression from one stage to another in a sequential series of steps. It prevents that from being fulfilled. This plan of action is used not only to prevent your argument, but also to force you into submission. It is designed to to subject you to a a particular process, treatment or condition. It is designed to make you give up. Narcissists tend to overgeneralize. They have a dualistic mentality or black and white thinking where something is either all good or all bad or something is either one thing or another. They have an inability to comprehend that people and things are made up of both positive and negatives. 
they cannot combine the two things to form one whole. So when they are arguing with you, they will have extreme views of you. Like when the relationship goes from idealization to devaluation. They will assign labels to you and claim that you always do something or you are always a certain way. Their tendency to overgeneralize gives them this need to define you. They have to have an exact statement or description of nature, scope or meaning of something that you have said or done. It could be from one incident and it may not reflect anything about you as a person. But it meant something personal to the narcissist. So they will use this to define your personality or character. They are uncomfortable with not having an exact statement or description of your nature. So they will choose whatever has a personal meaning to them and then conclude on that to define you, although it may not be accurate. And so it's the way you always are. Or it's something you always do even if it was just one incident. They have a dualistic mentality or black and white thinking. So they have to see you as being all bad for them to see themselves as being all good. The narcissist will project their faults, mistakes, flaws and imperfections onto you Whatever they believe to be wrong or unacceptable within them will be assigned to you. They might say that there is something wrong with you, you're a liar, or you're emotionally unstable. These are all projections of how the narcissist feels about themselves. When you are confronting them, it triggers them for a brief moment to reflect on their insecurities. This is what the narcissist then projects and assigns to you. They will blame you for anything, no matter how ridiculous it may sound, because they cannot accept their own faults, mistakes, flaws and imperfections. They might tell you that they are cheating on you because you're not good enough, or you're not attractive enough for them, or you're making them do it. But these are all just deflections because they don't want to be held accountable for their behavior. The narcissist will use denial and gaslighting. No matter how much evidence you have, they will always find a way to deny it and act as though you are doing something wrong by confronting them. They have to create this alternate reality or world with their own distorted meanings and interpretations. By denying the facts, it makes you question your memory, perception and even your sanity. It makes you look at yourself and wonder if you are the problem. This gives them a narcissistic supply. They don't want to accept the truth because the truth is against them. They're detached from reality. They may even convince themselves that they haven't done anything wrong. To the point where they will even believe their own lies. They have to deny their actions to protect themselves from reality. Due to their inability to cope with who and what they really are. The narcissist does not want a resolution. They don't want to resolve anything. Everything that they say in their word salad is designed to make you believe that they are right and you are wrong. Every interaction with the narcissist becomes a competition where you have to be wrong. In their minds, if you are wrong about things that are not important or significant, 
you are wrong about any concerns you have about their behaviour. It also gives them narcissistic supply. As if you are always wrong, that means that they are always right. If you manage to get the narcissist to reflect on the fact that maybe they are wrong, this will cause a narcissistic injury and it will most likely be followed by narcissistic rage. This occurs when you have exposed them or when you are close to exposing them. They realize that you are seeing them for who and what they really are. It also triggers them to reflect underneath their denial about how they really feel about themselves. During this brief window, they realize that they are the very opposite of superior. They are not always right. They do not have the great power and influence that they thought they had. And they realize that they are not always in control. Once they have realized and understood this, it can often escalate from verbal to physical aggression. Their narcissistic rage is designed to intimidate you into submission. No matter how much you question the narcissist or try to discuss things with them, it will never lead to a positive outcome. When you try to make sense of what the narcissist is saying to you, it only makes even less sense because you are not dealing with someone with a sound mind. You are dealing with someone who is operating off of their emotions. You have to stop questioning yourself. Trust your intuition. It was right all along. Believe in your truth and then you will be free. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcsfiver store, where you can purchase your own Narcsfiver t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.